Sourcecraft Coding just released their new version for VS Code 1.16 and there are some new cool features that I want to talk about in this video. The first feature that I'm really excited about is that they have Cloud 3 models as default and this one packs more powerful custom commands but something is really crazy that is this Olama chat that it supports with which you can actually run all the models that are supported by Olama like Code Gamma, there's Dolphin Coder and there's even Llama 2 and Llama 3. So this means that you can actually run Kodi offline using your local models. So with that said, let's actually get to the VS Code and start testing this new version out. So here on my VS Code, I have the Kodi extension already installed. If you're new to Kodi, we have some videos over at our channel which you can watch. But in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to test out the new features as well as the basic features that any AI pre-programming tool should have. So let's get started with that. So the first option is of course to get a Kodi chat, which is common in any AI pre-programming tool. But if you notice here, it says that Cloud 3 Sonnet, which means that Cloud 3 is the by default model that Kodi runs. And if you notice, down here we have this experimental flag in which it is showing Llama 2, which is actually running on my local system because I'm running Olama. And this means that we can actually run this. So let's click on that. So let's go ahead and say something like write me a Python hello world program. And that's it. So as you can see, it actually went on and generated this hello world program for us. And this solidified their claim that we can run local models offline in the Kodi chat. So here I have some example code snippets like this one. It is an example quiz game in Python. So let's just assume that I don't know how Python coding works. So if I want to get an explanation about this code, what I need to do is just select it all and just click on this explain code recipe that is pre-built. So if we do that, it will actually start working on it and give us a complete explanation of what this code does, what are the core components of this code and how they work, which is really great. And if you scroll up, you will see that it is actually running Claude 3 which was claimed on the official website's blog and it stands correct. But now let's discuss another use case which can be documented in this code. Let's say I want to document this code snippet and then push it to the repo. So for that, all you have to do is just go to this pre-made recipe here, document code, and it will start documenting the code on the top of your code snippet, just like this. And this is also one of the core features that any AI pair programming tool should have. But there are more. There's this generated test which actually works like crazy. Let me show you how. If we select all of this and I want to generate a unit test for this, just click on this pre made recipe and it will create a new file automatically and write the unit test inside it. And once I save this file, it's going to actually pop up in my file explorer right in here. So let me show you how it actually works. So the unit test is done. Now, if I save this file using Control S, as you can see, it creates a folder test here and the test game.py is right in here, the unit test, which is crazy. So these were the core features that any AI pair programming tool should have. But Kodi comes with something really great, which is it can actually smell the code. Let me show you what I actually mean by smelling the code. So if I select this code snippet, it can actually smell this code and tell us what is inefficient in this code and how we can actually improve this code. So if I go and click on this pre-made recipe, which is find code smells, it will actually explain on the inefficient part of this code. And as you can see, it went on and explained that we can use type hints and it gave an example of how we can do that. And we can actually implement this inside the file by just clicking here. And I personally really love this code smelling part. But wait, that's not all. We actually have this amazing new custom commands which are more powerful. So let me actually go on and show you how you can create your own custom command and make using Kodi more and more easier. So I have the same code here, but it is not that readable. So what if I want to make this more readable or efficient? So I have to go select the code and just go to add it. And here I will have to type the prompt or instruction to make it more readable, just like this one. And after that, I will have to submit it and it will make that more readable. But what if I can make a custom recipe just like these ones which is pre-made and all I have to do is just click on that recipe and it will do everything for me. So for that, what you need to do is let's go to the custom command menu here. Let's click on that. And here I'm going to go and select the new custom command. 
and here I'm going to go and add a custom command name. So it's going to be more readable or uh, let's say it's going to be elegant code because I like the name. After that, hit enter. And here you're going to select what this command should do. Should it start a new chat or edit or insert something? So I'm going to go with edit because we want to edit the code. And now we can give it our prompt, which will be saved inside the settings. And all I have to do is just click on that command and it will do that for us. So let's go and add the prompt here. So it's going to be make the code more readable and understandable. And that's it. Now we will have to configure the boundary or context of this command. So I can go with the selected code only, but I want it to work on the current file. So it can go all the way through the file and make changes in the file to make it more understandable and readable, not just the selected part. And for this command, I think that's enough. I don't have to go with the current directory or open tabs. So let's go and hit OK. And after that, we will have to save this inside the user settings. So let's go and click on that. So once you click on save, you will see your elegant code command right in here. Now what you can do is just click on this command. But first, let me select this code here. And let's click on this pre-made recipe that we just created. And let's go and see how it works. So as soon as we did that, it will actually go on and make the code more readable and easy to understand. And now we can actually copy this and just paste this right in here and the code is more readable. And now let me show you without this custom command what we have to do. So if I select all of this and go on and press Alt plus K, it will open up this menu here where I can write the same prompt, make the code more readable and understandable. There you go. Now it will do that right inside the file, but using this mechanism, what we have to do is we have to type the same prompt again and again and again for each file. But with this custom command, all we have to do is just select the code and just click on this and it will do that for us. So that's how you can use custom commands and they're really powerful. But now there's one more thing that any AI pair programming tool should have and that is to solve bugs. And I have this example TypeScript code here, which is kind of buggy, but we need to solve the bugs. So let's go and select all of this and let's go to Cody and ask it to solve the bug here. But first thing that we can do is find the code smells, what is wrong with this code. So it's going to go and go through the code and explain what is actually wrong with this code. And then we can actually debug it, which is more efficient and thorough. So now that we have all the code smells, so now what I can say is implement the suggestions. This way you can efficiently debug your code within seconds. And there you go. It actually went on and started generating it and the response is really fast. So let's go and just copy this and let's go and paste that right here. And as you can see, now it is bug free. There are no bugs. There is no warning messages coming up and it actually went on and added some comments here to explain what this method is actually doing, which is really great. So this is how powerful Cody is now. With this new update where you can actually run local models and plot three is by default as well as these powerful custom commands that we have here is just mind blowing. And on top of that, my favorite one is to find code smells. So this was all about the new release of Kodi. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Subscribe to SkillCup for latest updates on new cutting edge technologies. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, Stay curious and keep exploring.